practice of afforestation has been preached over many years in Ghana. The forest reserves are depleted at an alarming rate and this has provided a large market for forestry professionals in the country. The Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology, in its quest to address societal issues, has a silvic culture and forest management department under the College of Agriculture and Renewable Natural Resources. And the Department of Civil Culture and Forest Management was established in 1982 and it is part of the five departments of the Faculty of Renewable Natural Resources. Our mandate is to train forestry professionals for Ghana's forestry sector and we have been carrying out this um, assignment since 1982. Currently the Faculty of, um, Faculty of Renewable Natural Resources run a composite program in natural resource management and silviculture and forest management is one of the options of that program. So when students get to the third year, they major in one of the options and silviculture and forest management is one of their specialities. Silviculture is quite an old word and it, 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 it looks very big but it has a very simple meaning. It is just simply the growing of trees and forest in either natural forests or man-made forests, what we call plantations. So just simply, it's just the art and science of growing trees and forests. Forestry is a bigger, is a bigger word, entailing forest management, the culture itself, and even um, it, the other forest policy, forest politics. But when we talk about civic culture as a specific subject, we are talking about the art and science of growing trees and forests. I would say that this department is very useful to Ghana's socioeconomic development because until the department started, there was no institution training forestry professionals for Ghana's forestry sector. So this department was, was one of the first institutions that was set up to train professionals for Ghana's forestry sector. So if you go to currently the Forestry Commission and the Forest Research Institute of Ghana, most of the people there were trained by us and most of them went through this, this institution. So I would say that we have contributed a lot to the development of Ghana's forestry sector. Our, our, the way we deliver our program basically falls under two umbrellas. We, we give them the theoretical aspect of forest management and agriculture. We also train them in, in practice. We give them a lot of practical training and they are also encouraged to go out there and be entrepreneurs, be on their own. So we have some of our students that have established their own nurseries and they, do their, they produce seedlings and sell to other organizations. Some of them also as part-time activities also establish their own plantations. So we inculcate the practical aspect of plantation development into them so that when they go out there they can, they can practice. The department trains students to be forestry professionals and this entails equipping them with the arts and science of growing trees. We started this department plantation in 2011 for academic and research purposes. We established this plantation to teach students on forest inventory, forest measurement and basic civil cultural activities. The main purpose of this plantation is to protect university land from encroachment. Basically, the land belonged to the university. Before we came here, the local people used to farm here and do a whole lot of sand weaning and other illegal activities here. So we came up to take the land for plantation purposes. Normally, students come here for research purposes, depending on what they are taught in class. Basically, they come off here for basic cultural activities and inventory. Our services are open to the general public. The universities are public institutions, so anybody can walk in here and find any assistance or any services um, the person may require. The university, the staff in the university, especially the senior members, or the university as a whole has three mandates. We do teaching, we do research, and we do what we call um, community outreach in a way of disseminating our research findings to communities by way of helping them. So this mandate is what even promotes us 
So people come in all the time and ask us about plantation development and we take them through steps that can help them to establish their own plantations. In that regard, we have even started a plantation, um, our own plantation, and one of the objectives of starting that is to use it as a demonstration plot where people from outside can come and learn how to, how to do plantation and they can take that service to their own um, fields and begin to practice plantation development. So our services are open to the general public. People can walk in any time and ask for any assistance they may require. The program offers theoretical and practical knowledge to students. It boasts of a teak and acacia plantation where students go for research purposes. This is our Cassia Siamia, which is also called Cassia. It was originally called Sena Siamia. It was planted in 2013. The main purpose of this Cassia Siamia is to use it for food wood production and eventually use it for um, charcoal production also. And students also use it as experimental fields to do their project work in the university. Um, this Cassia Siamia, from five years going, you can start harvesting it depending on how soon or fast you want your full old plantation. And it's, it has a rich sprouting ability, which means that when you cut it, it will come back again. The leaves and the roots or can be used, has medicinal values and can be used to treat various diseases. Cassia siamia has economic value because the full old can be harvested and sold to make money. It also has environmental benefits. We all know that trees absorb carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Our department's research is organized around four main themes. We have what we call forest governance and livelihoods. That is one key theme. We have biodiversity and forest health. We have natural forest management and plantation development. We also have climate change and land use. And the staff in the department do research in these four main themes. Currently, we are running um, some projects in the, in, the, in the department. One of the key ones is a charcoal value chain project that we are running with University of Copenhagen, trying to look at the charcoal value chain and the actors involved and the profits that are generated along the chain. So that is how our research um, activities are organized. We have a lot of collaboration with um, several institutions, both in Ghana and outside Ghana. In Ghana, the Forestry Commission is one of our major partners and because we are in Kumasi, we work, uh, work um, with um, the, one of their branches in Kumasi, Resource Management Support Centre, and currently we are even running a project with them. Okay. And Forest, Forestry Research Institute of Ghana is one, also one of our major partners. Apart from these um, government institutions, we also partner a lot of non-governmental organizations. Tropenbos International is one, now is Tropenbos Ghana, is one of the key partners. And sometimes they even offer our students some um, sponsorship to do certain um, research that will benefit the students and also the organization. So there are a lot of organizations. If you move outside Ghana, as I said, we are currently implementing a project with University of Copenhagen in Denmark. Okay, so we, and then we also now also working with the, there's a, an institution in UK called Ecometrica Limited and they are space, they, they do space observation and we are currently doing a forest monitoring project with them and training us on how to monitor forests using earth observation. So there are a lot of organizations we are partnering with um, in terms of research. The, the Department of Silviculture and Forage Management is um, one, as I've said already, is one of the key institutions set up by the government to train professional foresters for the forestry sector of Ghana. So over the years, we have carried out this mandate and we are recognized institution in Ghana as, recognized as one of the key institutions 
when it comes to forest management. Currently, if you move outside our environment and go out there and ask anybody about forest management, people will direct you to, to this place.